Nothing changed, we don't mess with you lames Most underrated in the game yeah. Skip goes hard. hard Disconnect the haters from the ballers Are you standing in line for the dollar? Yeah. Almighty You ain't never seen a shoe like this you, get them you ain't never bust a move like this You ain't, got no more. You ain't rocking nothing new like this on, You ain't never watch YouTube like this Damn. What's up, people? This is Skip Goes Hard. I am and will always be the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. That's facts. Today's date is February 11th, 2019. Man, y'all read the whole ass title. Y'all know what it is. I have here a shoe that I said is like the most controversial shoe. And when I say the most controversial shoe, I'm talking about as far as sneaker YouTube because this shoe right here. People were coming out the woodwork, the wood, the woodwork with the uh, pre-orders and stuff like that. People who don't normally sell Jordans, I guess they're like, well, I'm going to go ahead and get my money up on these. Uh, these are going to be, everybody wants these shoes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do my little, I'm going to jump in the little pre-order thing. Yeah, people were doing that. People were doing that. No shots fired. Or maybe one. Hmm. Anyway. They are. The Nike Sneakers app already released this shoe. People already have this shoe. People are already wearing this shoe. But the official release for the shoe is February 16th, I believe. But like I said, man, y'all read a whole ass title. Y'all know what it is, man. I have for you all the 2019 Black Infrared Air Jordan 6. Now, starting with the box, if you're still curious of what an Air Jordan six box looks like which i know everybody knows what a six looks like but not everybody our sneaker has like us so let me just do my thing starting out with the box now this is a legit pair of air jordan sixes why because this came from the peekaboo nike sneakers release so you should have everything should line up the size of the shoe barcodes the name of the shoe everything like that it should come in a big ass box so if anybody's trying to sell you a 2019 air jordan 6 black infrared and the bitches come in a big jordan 1 box you got screwed over i'm just letting you know that we don't want that you want a box like this sturdy ass big box like this man opening the box you will have this black paper in it this is the black paper that better be in your black infrared six box. If this paper is red or yellow or green, you got screwed over, get your money back or take some fighting lessons if you don't know how to fight. Because I know you'll be mad, you won't beat somebody else for selling you some fakes. Especially if you pay way over for a price of these shoes where you can get it for like 200 plus tax. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this black paper in this legit Air Jordan 6 box. And let's get to it. I have for you all the... Now, everybody knows what the shoe looks like because, like I said, the shoes came out a while ago on Peek and Nike Sneakers app. The 2019 Air Jordan 6 Black Infrared with the infamous Nike Air on the back and the Nike on the lace lock right there. And, of course, the colors on this Air Jordan 6, this should be the true black type infrared. Well, not well, the black infrared color right here, man. This is it. This is it right here. This is probably the closest to an OG that you will get. Now, I know I said my little things about this shoe saying it's pretty much just the same shoe and all that, but that was before I actually had a chance to see the shoe in person. I'm holding the shoe in person i'm here this is present time right now i'm looking at the shoe and let me tell you this shoe is worth every bit of the 200. this shoe is worth every bit of the 200. i'm really this is this is you got that nike i don't know if you can really tell from where no you can't really tell but we got the nike nike right there in the insole like i said man nike on that lace lock, the infrared color right there, uh, on that on the on the uh, on the jump man, this is darker than the 2014. Seeing this shoe right now, I can really tell that the 2014 pair, that pair is pink, 
compared to this infrared color right here, man. Now, the Nike on the back is what everybody loves, is what everybody this 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 preaches that that praises the Nike Air on the back. Now, me, I was like, it would have been cool if an OG 1991 black infrared, if the stitching was infrared, you know what I mean? If the, if, if the Nike stitching was like an infrared, that color, if that was like the OG color, that would have been pretty cool because like I said, everybody loves the Nike Air on the back, but you can't really even see the Nike Air on the back unless you're up on it. So if I'm like way, way, way back there, or like paces away, you can't really tell there's a Nike Air on the back. The only person that's really going to appreciate that Nike Air on the back is the person who bought the shoes, is the person who's wearing the shoes because they know their black infrared sixes have the Nike Air on the back and that is what they love. Now, having a stitched Nike Air on the back doesn't make the shoe feel any kind of way. You know what I mean? When you're walking around, this, shoe, this Nike Air stitched on the back is not making this shoe feel just more, you know, softer or firm or anything like that. It's just, it's a sense of style. It's, it's the person who really wants this shoe is letting them know that they finally have a black infrared six with the Nike Air on the back. This is close to the OG that you will get everything i'm like i'm really looking at this shoe comparing it to a 2014 this is it this is it now i'm looking at it because the light that's above me is shining down on the shoe and i do see the 3m and the perforated holes i'm looking at it you all can't see but i'm looking at it right here if you are going after these shoes right here you will not be disappointed like i said these shoes are worth every bit of the 200 now if you somehow wanted to pay a little over retail for this shoe i understand because this and this is what you're going to get right here hopefully this is what you're going to get like i said a lot of people sell the bullshit so if you uh pay 50 to 100 dollars over retail for this shoe let's just hope you get something that looks like this right here you know what i mean the nike air on the back is placed where it should be the jump man it's actually Jordan with a bald head dunking a ball. The ball doesn't look like a football. Jordan doesn't have a high top fade and no goofy shit like that. He's bald and he has a he's bald and he's dunking a ball. He's not dunking a football or uh, or anything like that. You know what I mean? This is what you should get right here. Pull tab in the back, infrared color. Everything is looking good on this shoe. This shoe is what you should be able to get now the shoe comes out like i said what february 16th this saturday, this, saturday. Mm -hmm. this shoe comes out this saturday now there were a lot of places that had the first come first serve and then it changed to you know having the shoe being uh on, on a reservation app or whatever but like i said if you really want this shoe don't play no games, man. Don't just sleep late and uh, stroll in the mall at like 3, 12 in the p.m. thinking that you're just going to get your size. Because people really want this shoe. You got to think about everybody who waited for... You got to think about all the people who, who, who took the L in 2014. Then you got to think about everybody who knows that this shoe is really close to an OG. You got all those people. Then you got the people. Then you got like, you have the hype beast people that are going to try to get the shoe to sell it. All those people are going to go to one spot, which is the big building with all the stores in it, a.k.a. the mall, and they will try to get this shoe. Don't sleep. I'm telling you, don't sleep. This is my first time seeing this shoe in person. I'll tell you that I, I think I will try to get this shoe. Now, y'all already know. I told you all, I was like, well, the only shoes I need was my Air Max 720s, which... We're still figuring out that debacle. And then my uh, Turbo Green Air Jordan 1s. Yeah, I have those already. And I wasn't really, I was like, Air Jordan Turbo 1s over these. It's because I haven't seen these per shoes in person yet. But now that I'm looking at them, I think I feel the need to at least have these in my collection. You know what I mean? And might wear them. But then I think about it, like, I have my 2014s, but they're still dead stock. So if I were to get these shoes, would these shoes still stay dead stock? Maybe. Maybe. But I'm letting you all know, this shoe, this is it. This is it. Nike Air on the back, Nike on the lace lock. You got Air Jordan right there on the top of the tongue. Everything is checking out. 
on the bottom, you got the infrared Jumpman on the bottom, iced out, you got this black right there. This shoe, yeah, this shoe is where it is. It really is. Air unit right there around on the midsole. Everything is clear. Everything is good to go. I'm telling you all, this, this shoe is what it is, man. It really is. I am happy to see it. Last look. I can't go too much into it because, like I said, everybody did the reviews and stuff on the show. I'm just giving you my Skip Goes Hard point of view about it. Last look. Don't sleep. Do not sleep on this shoe right here, man. Don't sleep. Want to get in the video? Say something? Oh, nothing. I'm just super excited about it. Yeah. Let them know. Hey man, I have a special guest right there. Man, introduce yourself. What up, y'all? What's up, internet? My name is Kando, also known as Eric Kando on internet. But I'm really excited about uh, 3M. I don't know if you pointed out the 3M in here. There's no little flashy going on, but uh, oh yeah, you can see it right there, kind of glittering. Also, this part. Look at that. Look at that. All 2014s didn't do that. Super thrilled. He said he might get them. He's tripping. He needs two pairs. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see, man. But hey, hey, look, that is it. I'm Skip Goes Hard, the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. Like this video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And homie, tell them again where to find you. Your boy Arcando, Instagram, Twitter. That's it. Go ahead and spell it out for them. A I R C A N D O. Eric Can Do. Bam, that is it, man. Y'all take care. Watch the ads and watch that ass. I'm out. Peace. And peep the moonwalk at the end of this video. Peace.